Good morning, good morning. In this episode, we will be navigating along the 11 spectacular waterfront restaurants and bars on Sanibel Island. Sit back and enjoy the tour, or join in the fun. Go to thesandcapguide.com and download the free Sanibel Waterfront Trail Passport. The passport will have a map and links to all 11 spots. There will be a trivia question to answer about each location. Once you have completed your passport, email it and you will be eligible for a fantastic prize. We will regularly draw a winner from the entries. Good luck. Links are in the description below. On to the tour. We're going to start from the east end of the island, close to the historic lighthouse and travel west, ending 200 yards before the Blind Pass Bridge that connects Sanibel with Captiva. The first waterside restaurant we will be visiting is Grandma Dots at 634 North Yachtsman Drive at the Sanibel Marina. Starting at Periwinkle Way at the Causeway 4-way stop, head east for a half mile. On your left hand side you will see a sign for North Yachtsman Drive and the Sanibel Marina. Pull in there and go to the back of the marina and turn left. Grandma Dots will be right in front of you. And in case you're wondering, Grandma Dots is spelled G-R-A-M-M-A. And the restaurant is named after the owner's grandmother, who by all accounts was an amazing and adventurous lady. There is a dedication to Grandma Dot on the wall. Grandma Dots has a varied menu with everything from their coconut curried lobster salad, to fish and chips, to a blackened chicken sandwich. They also have a kids menu. Their group of sandwich is outstanding. On the dinner menu, look out for their ever-changing specials. They are very popular. Grandma Dots is known for its long-serving staff members and intimate, friendly setting. Grandma Dots is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week from 11.15am to 8pm. As with all opening times I'm going to share, double check before you go as times may vary seasonally. Behind Grandma Dot's restaurant is the ship store. It's a small store, but it's comprehensively stocked with all essential boating accessories. The ship store sells diesel, gas, it sells live shrimp, t-shirts, lines, safety equipment, oil and oil filters, and much, much more. You can bring your boat to come to the restaurant. All you need to do is hail the Dockmaster on VHF Channel 16, and the Dockmaster will do their best to accommodate you. If you do not have a VHF, just pull up at the gas pumps and they can direct you to a slip. The Sanibel Marina is not only home to Grandma Dots, but the marina is also home to the Sanibel Thriller, which is an open top, fast catamaran that offers a very informative narrated tour around the island. It is also the home port of several local island fishing guides and the Stars and Stripes, which offers dolphin, wildlife and sightseeing tours. If you're the type that prefers to don the captain's hat, you could rent one of the marina's 21 foot Santa consoles for a day or two. Grandma Dots is the only restaurant featured that is on the back bay, or north side of the island. All others are located along the Gulf of Mexico, which takes us to our next stop, 937 East Gulf Drive, the Sanibel Inn. The Sanibel Inn is home to two restaurants, Dante's Pizza, which in itself is a great restaurant, but we will be focusing on the poolside tiki bar called the Island Time Bar and Grill, which is the only waterfront restaurant at this resort. Island Time is open 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and serves lunch. Dinner is served at Dante's. There's a happy hour from four to six, and this is one of our favorites. As a family, we quite often come to the Island Time on the weekends for a little lunch or to see friends. We usually drive, but sometimes we come by boat and anchor offshore. Looking ahead, you can see the location of the island time. Looking to your right is the far eastern tip of the island where the lighthouse is located. And you can see the causeway in the background. Heading west about 0.7 of a mile will bring you to the Sanibel Island Beach Resort. This is one of the few dog-friendly beach hotels on the island and is located at 1231 Middle Gulf Drive. It is at the intersection of Middle Gulf Drive and Donak Street. As you pull into the resort, you will see the first of two restaurants on the left called Sand Dollar Kitchen and Bar. Once you pass Sand Dollar, check in at the front desk and they will let you know where to park. Once you get to the back of the resort, you will see a small lake on your left. It's a great place to see small local wildlife like turtles, birds and insects. Once you pass the lake, you will find the pool and beachside tiki bar on your right hand side. 
check out the huge palm trees surrounding the property. They make for perfect hammock territory and are probably some of the most beautiful on the island. The resort has a sun deck, an outdoor ping pong table, great frozen drinks and good food. What more could you ask for? The U-shaped tiki bar has plenty of seating around it if you are feeling in a social mood. Make sure you take a walk between the buildings and check out the tropical landscaping. For more information about all the restaurants in this episode, check the description below and I will list all the links to their websites. It's a fantastic spot. It has great food. They have a couple of TVs up for football season or anything else that happens to be on. It has a really good island vibe and it's just a cool spot to hang out. Check out their website, sandabellbeachresort.com. Heading west along Middle Gulf Drive will bring you to Sundial Beach Resort and Spa, located at 1451 Middle Gulf Drive. Sundial has the most waterfront dining offerings on Sanibel Island. When you pull into the resort, you can park anywhere in the front, and walking up the steps to the lobby will give you access to the main dining restaurants. As you enter the Sundial Lobby, look ahead to your right and you will see the first restaurant we're going to be talking about, the Seabreeze Cafe. Just to give you a better understanding of where Sea Breeze is, look at this three-story building. This is the main building at Sundial. The middle floor to the left is Sea Breeze. Sea Breeze Cafe is open for lunch and dinner and has an extensive menu with lunch items including soups, salads and burgers, all the way to the dinner offerings such as twin lobster tails and filet of beef. Sea Breeze is open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. It has a modern welcoming bar area where you can catch your favorite games. It also has an outside dining area on the patio. As you walk into the lobby, look ahead to your left and you will see Ocean View, which by day is the location for the breakfast buffet and by afternoon through the evening is an event room for weddings or private events. Right behind Ocean View, there's another restaurant, a Japanese steakhouse called Shima. Shima is not actually on the water, but behind Ocean View. The other restaurant is on the lower level and is a tiki bar called Turtles Pool and Beach Bar. Turtles serves a selection of starters, salads and sandwiches. They have some interesting selections including Caribbean conch fritters to a jerk chicken sandwich to grilled shrimp tacos. They also have a kids menu called Tiny Turtles. For the adults, there is lots of bar space, TVs and excellent frozen cocktails. They are open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to sunset. Just behind Turtles Pool and Beach Bar is a to-go pizza restaurant called A Slice of Paradise. It sells whole pizzas or by the slice. They also have a great selection of ice cream. On the upper level is a balcony which is directly in front of a large function room. Before we leave Sundial, I wanted to give a quick mention to the Kay Kasperson Lifestyle Boutique and Spa. It's on the upper left side of the building. If you need a bit of a vacation pampering, you'll be wowed by their services and the spectacular view. Once we leave the Sundial property, going on to West Gulf Drive, we come to one of Sanibel's earliest established inns, Cassia Bell Resort. It is located at 2255 West Gulf Drive. You know you have arrived when you hear the unmistakable rumble of the large wooden beams as you drive over the bridge into the resort. Thomas Edison and Henry Ford were said to be early visitors of the resort. As you drive in, you'll be welcomed by the picturesque grounds, the lakes and the fountains. Cassia Bell Resort is home to two waterfront offerings, one being the upscale, award-winning Thistle Lodge restaurant. The Thistle Lodge has lots of intimate nooks and crannies. It's the perfect place to spoil yourself, your friends or your family. It's also the perfect spot for a romantic get-together. The restaurant has a very tropical, historic feel without being stuffy. It has a distinctive ambience and an awesome aroma of tropical hardwoods. The view from the rear of the restaurant is second to none. There is also a terrace dining area overlooking the pool. The food has always had a great reputation. I can recommend the sea bass, it's superb. Above the Thistle Lodge restaurant, there is a smaller event room. It too has an outstanding view through a floor to ceiling panoramic window overlooking the Gulf of Mexico. The lawn you see in front is also a popular venue for weddings sometimes just for the ceremony, but quite often they will erect a tent and have the whole event outside. The second waterside dining spot at Cassibel Resort is their poolside bar called Coconuts Bar and Grill. Coconuts is open seven days a week, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Coconuts has a large patio area for dining and sipping on your favorite island cocktails. They have music most weekends, 
Check out the grouper sandwich and the tuna tacos, both are personal favourites. Both Coconuts and the Thistle Lodge have happy hours. Check their websites for more details. Kevin from the poolside bar at Cassiabelle has been kind enough to share one of his favourite cocktails. Pop top, shock top. Ice, citrus vodka, mango daiquiri, and a shot of orange juice. Finish it, a little shot of shock top beer. Cheers, Kevin. Our next stop takes us to the Island Inn, located at 3111 West Gulf Drive. The tagline for the Island Inn is the historic beachfront resort, and rightfully so. The resort's restaurant has been serving food since 1895. In its current iteration, this waterfront restaurant is named Traditions on the Beach. The restaurant is currently being run by a well-known island restaurateur. Andrea and his son Carlo. It comprises of a fairly large dining room and a bar area. The main restaurant has so many amazing dishes, from Moroccan lamb tagine to wild black grouper. The menu is broad and has a little something for everyone. One thing for sure, the food that Andrea and his team put out is always first class. The second component is the bar lounge area. The bar opens at 4pm and has early bird specials. The bar serves excellent tapas and a variety of specialty drinks. There are lots of historical artifacts to check out in the bar, from old pictures and newspaper cuttings to a scale model of the original Sanibel Ferry. It's a great place to hang out. The restaurant is also available for private functions and weddings. Check out the video we made called Journey from the First Store to the First Resort. It goes into the incredible history of the Island Inn. A short drive west of Island Inn will take you to the West Wind Inn, located at 3345 West Gulf Drive. West Wind Inn offers two options, the Normandy Seaside Cafe, which does not have a water view, and the poolside bar called the Upper Deck Hall Bar. The Upper Deck is my favourite Friday evening happy hour spot. For you lucky people on vacation, you could actually make this your daily happy hour spot. The Upper Deck serves lunch from 11.30am to 3.30pm. The bar quite often has live music and is open till 8pm for drinks. The lunch menu includes items like the delicious bronze salmon salad to sandwiches and a selection of fried baskets including clam strips and fried grouper. Check the website as times do vary. Now we have to travel in a more northwesterly direction. This will be the biggest distance between waterfront establishments, taking us 6.6 .6 miles or about 12 minutes by car to the Sunset Grill restaurant, located at 6356 Pine Avenue. Now we nearly didn't give this one a mention as there is actually a road in between the restaurant and the Gulf of Mexico, but it does have a view. The Sunset Grill is open breakfast, lunch and dinner and is open from 8am to 9pm. It has an indoor seating area as well as an open air covered deck. The restaurant has a varying menu with local specialty offerings like eggs Santiva and eggs blind pass for breakfast. Lunch is more salads, pasta and sandwiches. Dinner offerings are a step up with entrees like pan seared scallops and filet mignon. Appetizers like shrimp and crab bisque and salads are also available. And your last chance to experience waterfront dining on Sanibel before you cross over the bridge to Captiva is at the Mad Hatter restaurant, located at 6467 Sanibel Captiva Road. And it is just a hop, skip and a jump from the Sunset Grill restaurant. The Mad Hatter is one of my personal favorites for a special occasion. It is known for its superb food and ever-changing seasonal menu. This eatery has a unique, cozy, intimate interior, but it has limited seating, so reservations are strongly recommended. It's open Tuesday through Sunday, starting at 4.45pm for dinner only. Now I'm going to test my limited linguistic skills here and share a current sampling of the Mad Hatter's menu. How about a panko and black truffle crusted day boat scallop dish? Or maybe a rack of lamb with a walnut and cherry pesto crust? Or even a boulebase? This seafood stew includes lobster, shrimp, scallops, little neck clams, grouper, and seasonal fish, cooked in a saffron, tomato, and herb broth. Now, if that doesn't get your taste buds excited, I don't know what will. The Mad Hatter restaurant is just steps from the Gulf and really is an island treasure. 
That wraps up our tour of the 11 spectacular waterfront restaurants and bars on Sanibel Island. I strongly encourage you to visit each and every one. Don't forget to go to thesandcapguide.com to download the free Sanibel Waterfront Trail Passport. Complete the trivia questions and email your entry to be eligible for fantastic prizes. All of the information is in the links below. If you have not already done so, please like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click on the bell icon to be notified of future content. There are some links to Ilon products that we recommend in the section below. Check them out, it doesn't cost you anything, but should you decide to purchase something, we may get a tiny commission, which helps a little with the running of this channel. My name is Nick Adams. Come and join me on the next one.